So today we're going to be changing the back tire on my son's bike. It's done gone flat. We're going to go ahead and replace the tube and the tire. Things you're going to need. There's standard socket set, some wrenches, screwdrivers, a new tire tube, the new tire, and a way to air it up, but you can either use a compressor or a bike pump, in which I'm going to use the bike pump. So usually with any tire, you're going to have your normal wear and tear. Or now this tire is completely flat. It seems like the tread is pretty much completely gone. And then uh, also you can see there's a huge hole here. Now this is just from, like I said, normal wear and tear. And also from where my son likes to hit his back brakes and slide out leaving tire marks on the driveway which it's gonna wear your tire out a little bit faster so the tools I'm gonna be using for this project to get this tire off back on socket wrench extension deep well 11 16 socket 8 millimeter socket long flathead screwdriver long Phillips screwdriver and then this new air pump I got, which uh, has a built-in tire gauge, which I haven't tested out yet, so I'm going to use my backup tire gauge. The adapter piece that came with it. And that should be about all you need, including your new tire and your new tire tube. So before going to the store to get your new bike tire and tube, you're going to want to make sure you have the correct size. But you can find on the side of the bike tire. So this one's a 14 by 2.125. So that'll be the tire and tube size I need. Now I recommend taking a picture with your phone. Usually works best for me. So that way if I write it down I don't lose it. And that way when I get to the store I know exactly what size I need to buy. So to start off you're going to want to start taking these outside nuts off here. I recommend using a deeper socket. Some of the shorter sockets might get hung up right here. So, go ahead and take them off. And then of course you're gonna to wanna to repeat that step on the other side. So after you take your outside nuts off, You'll notice this one has a little screw holding this bar in place which is keeping the wheel in. So we're going to go ahead and take this screw out. And then it also has a nut on the back side so you want to be careful not to lose it. So now that we have both the outside nuts taken off and we have this little arm over here that that little screw was holding in disconnected you want to go ahead and push it up take the chain off of your front sprocket go ahead and pull it out and then disconnect the chain from the back and your tire is off all right now so now that we got the tire off I'm going to take a flathead screwdriver, a long one. Oh, you don't have to have a long one. I'm going to use a long one. Stick it down in here. And you don't want to pry too hard because you don't want to mess up the rim. Get it under both sides of the tire. I'm going to get the tire off the side of the rim. And I'm just going to take it, go down sideways. I'm going to take the cap off. And the tire is now off the rim. So now the next step is we're going to have to get our tube, new tube, back inside the tire, put it back on the rim. 
I like to uh, put a little air in the tube before I start this process. You don't have to, but that's what I'm going to do. Alright, so now I'm going to take the new tube, put it back inside the new tire. See if we can get this rim on. And there we go. Alright, so now we got the tube inside the tire. I already got my pump hooked up to it. Got the tire around. Now we just gotta get it to seal around the rim. Which I'm gonna go ahead and pump the tube up a little bit. Alright, so now we got the tire completely on the rim. Wanna look and see the PSI. So right here, it shows that we need to go to 35 PSI. So I don't really trust this tire gauge. So I'm gonna check it with another tire gauge. Make sure we're exactly where we need to be. Alright, so now we got our tire aired up. Ready to put it back on. So what I wanna go ahead and do, make sure that this bracket piece goes back on the right side where we had a little clip up here. Go ahead, I'll put it completely on. I'm going to wrap the chain around this bolt right here. Alright, now we're going to put the chain back on the sprocket. Chain back on this sprocket. And now we're ready to reattach the screw to her bracket. Put the back nuts back on. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and grab the washer and the nut for this side. I'm not going to screw it on completely tight. I'm going to go ahead and get it on there so we'll get the tire set where we want it at. Won't be an issue. Go ahead and put this side back on, the washer, the nut. And don't want them on there too tight. I'm going to line the tire up. Go ahead and put it. There's nothing screwed back on. This little nut right here ended up being a little pain, so I just went ahead, got a socket for the nut and extension.
Make sure it's tight. Put it on there like so. Yeah, tight. Everything looks good. The little looks like it's been good. Go ahead. Tighten these up. There you go. Good to go. Hope this helps you out. It's not the only way you can do it. It's the way I did it. So I appreciate it. Thank you for watching.